Now you might be wondering what I've got in these tubs here, but what if I told you that inside each one of these tubs I had hundreds of pets? That's right, these are my vermi composters. A vermi composter is a composting system that harnesses the power of the red wiggler worm to turn kitchen scraps into beautiful garden compost. And today I'm going to show you how you can build a vermi composter of your own. Are you ready? Let's go! First things first, we're going to need a few materials. The first thing you're going to need is a plastic tub that can house your worms. You're going to want one that's about a foot deep and made out of something opaque. Now that means no light can pass through. Think of where a worm lives outside. They like to live where it's dark, damp, and cool. So if there's light coming through the side of your box, the worms are not going to like it. You're also going to need something that can make holes in your bin for air. Now I've got a cordless drill here and a drill bit. You're also going to need a scrap of wood or something that can protect your floor as you're drilling the holes. You'll need some recycled paper, either newspaper or old recycled brown bags. And of course, some safety gear. Now the first thing we're going to do is drill some air holes for these worms. Just like us, worms need oxygen too. So we're going to do some holes in the lid of the box and as well around the upper edge here. By doing them higher up, we can make sure that the worms won't accidentally crawl out. So line up your lid on the piece of wood and start drilling. Alright, perfect. We've got one hole down and about a hundred more to go, so I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> now you're also going to need to make sure to do a few holes around the top of the bin on each side. Looking good. Well, this floor isn't looking so good now, so let's do a little cleanup before we move on to the next step to make sure we don't get any little plastic bits in our final worm bin. Alright, our bin is ready to move in some of its new customers. Luckily, I've got a few old vermi composter bins here. I can take a few scoops of worms from each one to start up my new compost bin. If you're starting a bin for the first time, you're going to need to borrow some worms from either a friend or order some online. Now these red wigglers are a special kind of worm that thrives in compost and they're very different from the regular earthworm that you might find outside. So unfortunately, the worms you find in your yard are going to be a little different, which means you'll have to get some of these red wiggler worms somehow. Now here's another one of my vermi compost bins and it shows how you can make your bin out of many different types of plastic tubs. Now on top here, these aren't worms, this is what is called the bedding. And the bedding is made out of shredded cardboard paper, newspaper, and what it does is it kind of simulates what a worm's natural habitat would be, with soil and grass on top of it. It keeps the moisture of the bin regulated and keeps the worms nice and happy. Now to make this, you can either shred up some paper by hand, but if you have the option available, I would highly recommend skipping this step and using a paper shredder, as it can do it much faster and give you a really consistent grind. Now that is some good looking bedding. Let's get it on the worm bins. Here's how the bins look now that they've been topped up with some bedding, but there's one last step. And worms like where it's dark and cool, but they also like damp. Now we don't want to just pour water on these bins, but a mister is a great way to help regulate the temperature and the humidity of the bin. Once you've given your worms some time to get established in their new bin, it's time to give them their first meal. Make sure not to overfeed them, because it can uh, get a little stinky in there if you put too much food in and the worms can't eat it all. So make sure you start small, and when you check your bin if there's still food, maybe wait a bit until the worms eat it but as your colony grows, they'll be able to eat more and more compost on a daily basis. Now you might notice some plants popping up in your compost, either tops from carrots or beets, or even tomato seeds. And I think that just shows how beautiful this soil is. 
If this happens, you can just give your bin a stir and give your worms a nice free meal. So as you can see, making your own vermi composter isn't too much of a challenge. And by bringing some worms into your home, you'll have some compost ready for your garden in no time.